Greetings, my fellow Tarnished. It's the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring, Shadow of the Herb Tree. Here we are, dabbing before the Scatter Tree, being pretty cool. So, let's get up. In the previous episode, we explored around the Church of Consolation and the Church of Benediction and the Prospect Town. So, we did a bit of uh, exploration around the Wings of the Scorched Ruins. Kind of the, uh, the nooks and crannies of the intro area, but today we're going to proceed onwards, further down this direction. I'm going to ignore the giant burning thing, the the wicker the wicker giant, the flaming wicker giant. Man, Nicolas Cage, if he's in there, is really not having fun. Like, on fire and bees, that sounds pretty rough. Uh, let's, uh, let's just explore around. I don't really have any particular agenda. There's no adversary that I want to take. I might go back and try. Did we get another scatter tree blessing or something? Or, oh, hello. Another painting. We've already found one. Oh, that's cool looking. That looks like Rhea Lucaria. Sort of. What's up with all the upside down towers? The sacred tower. Well, that's probably what's upside down. Or that's the deal with the upside down towers. It's, it's the sacred tower. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye on that thing. That I reckon that's gonna be that one over there, or perhaps that thing. That looks like it might be upside down. We can't get a good look at it. I think it's either the render distance is too far, or it just looks very distorted at a distance. That could also be the case. But let's uh, keep exploring around here. So we have a way down to uh, the abyss over this way, which I will not jump into. Or stare into. It's, it's rude to keep doing that. What the hell are they? Uh, I'm going to take this backhand blade, if you don't mind. And we're going to look at that in just a sec. Now, I'm going to spy on these guys. They have horns. Are you the 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 horn... Uh, like, you're obviously hostile. And they do stuff. You know, I would assume they were going to do stuff. Okay, they're buffing themselves up. They're carrying candles. And the ones that buff have more candles, and they spit fire, which, like, didn't hit me for some reason. So, are you now going to have more? Yeah. All right. So, they basically do their incantation, which lights up a bunch of candles, which allows them to shoot fire. I think these are the horn scent. Then again, I thought the curse... The guy with the cursed sword thing was also a horn scent. Um, but apparently that might just be a regular omen. Curved blade wielded with a backhand grip. Type of weapon wielded by horn scent. There we go. For generations. The style of combat associated with this weapon is marked by spinning slashes and gouging thrust attacks. This will give us a, uh, an attack onto a target's blind spot. Okay. Backhand sword. like the design. It's very simple. Realistic weapon design. No. No. Don't look at me. Hold on. I want the skull. Alright. Uh, let's head down. I don't think there's a way to cross this. Jeepers. Uh, looks like we've gotten his attention. <laughs> like, what do you do? <laughs> Aside from close in and hope for the best. I, I don't know. I... There's just fire everywhere. How do you fight this thing? I did no damage. And it's just... Wow! The range on this is ridiculous. That's it. I'm out of here. Again. He's got a long aggro range, too. Are you? Yeah. Alright. You were standing there ominously. Hi, you have friends. You are a gold eye. Great. You drop a whole lot of runes for being an enemy that you kill in one hit. Not again. So he's just guarding this area. Preventing anyone from uh, easily making their way through. Oh, hi. It's you. And by you, I mean I have no idea who you are. But 
Let's pick this up. A scatter tree fragment. Is that... Touch cross. Carved words coalesce. I abandon here the first of the flesh of my body. This is from Mikola. Interesting. We even have his footprints. Maybe. Cool. And you're, uh... You're somebody. We're gonna touch this grace just to make sure that we have it. And, uh, I remember you from the DLC. You have a... Vaguely... Like, Cuman Kipchak-style helmet, which... Uh, yes, I approve. The the whirls on the sides of the head, not so much. And, but the, the, the very human-esque mask is... That reminds me of that. And just the general shape of the helmet. Looks like a... Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess you could say a, a Turkic um, helmet. Uh, the rest of your armor, however, looks rather Greco-Roman. Or Greek. And the weapon looks like a fantasy weapon. Who are you? Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Won't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General oh. Dawn. In hmm. battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Okay. Uh, so, new NPC here. Freya. Fought alongside General Radon. <laughs> oh, another thing. Did you speak to our dour little friend? Which one? If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the Cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. Who's the dour little Mikula friend? The Kind's footprints. I don't know who the dour little friend is. Hold on, there's a weird... weird if there. you've yet to do so... Be sure to have our dour little friend share his map of crosses. Assuming you intend to trace Kind Mikola's path. Yeah. If you've yet to do so. Assuming you intend to trace. Oh, you're the dour little friend. Okay. Empyrean Blood Burgeon. A young shoot, heavy with Empyrean blood, a material used for crafting items exceedingly rare. Set to burgeon forth from the golden blood of Mikola. The wounded Empyrean pooled. So he's wounded. And he has golden blood. Anytime anybody says something about golden blood, I'm forced to recall the lyrics of uh, the latest Arch Spire album about the uh, the Boanets and their, their gold blood. <laughs> Nightmare fuel. Alright, you must be the dour friend. You look... Uh, like you got some grubs growing out of your face. Yeah, it, it happens to the best of us. It's alright, I won't judge. What do you have to say? You have a cool sword, though. That's a, like a, an inward curved sword. Fie, another. <laughs> Treading the heels of Mikula. Then, as that woman would surely say, we are in our purposes well aligned. You okay. understand. Your kind are not forgiven. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed. Set aflame. I believe Mikela's apologies. When he says our delivery will come. But never will I see your kind as worthy. Okay, we got some lore. Marika sent Mesmer to... Um, burn the Horn Scent. So the Horn Scent must have been that civilization that was getting torched by Mesmer. Uh, in the trailer. Uh, the, the horned people. He doesn't have any, but they may have just been excised. He was one of them, is the impression I'm getting here. Uh, they're tall and lanky, much like the uh, the ones that we just slaughtered over there. Uh, we probably shouldn't tell him about that. Mikola has come... perhaps to set right the wrongs inflicted by Marika and Mesmer. Of, again, moving towards my theory that Mikola is the only good demigod out there. Don't tell me Radon was good. He was a warmongering conqueror. The one that, that's a warmongering conqueror is a good person. I'm very sorry. <laughs> he may have been better than some of the other ones. That's for sure. But we're not, let, let's not over-glorify him. 
He's, he's, he's got enough glory as is. But anyways, um... Uh, yeah. Mikola. And yet my oath I cannot overlook. If Mikola it is whom you would seek, then, comrade, allow me to give you this. These are the sights of the crosses I found. I urge you, follow after Mikola. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. For now, that is exactly what we are going to do. Let's check our inventory. A simple map, drafted by a horn scent, marked with the location of the Golden Crosses. These crosses indicate Mikola's footprints. Is that as close as we can see? Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, so there's a bridge here somewhere. And there's one near the bridge. Let me quickly look on our main map here. Uh, yeah. Let's check that again. Okay. So we are standing at... Yeah. So unfortunately I can't point, but the middle one is the one we've currently found. There will be another one if we go through the, uh, the giant tunnel there and then there is going to be a bridge yep right over there and if we cross the bridge we should feasibly find a third one i urge you follow after Mikila. as long as you abide by his footfalls you will be no enemy to me you have a really cool sword look at the like sorry no didn't want to do that uh to like wave patterns on it and the uh the eagle? I don't know if that's an eagle. I think it... No, it looks more like a parrot, to be fair. <laughs> Minor difference. Uh, looks cool regardless. Do you have anything new to say now that I've if talked to him? Yet to do so, okay. assuming you in I do intend to trace Mikola's path. I hope we get to, like, summon one of them in a fight. Or even both of them. I mean, not at the same time, but... Boss fight somewhere with... Uh, you know, I see a summon sign of one of these two, Freya or uh, our dour friend. What was his name? I should say here. Oh, he's just called the Horn Scent. All right, well, we'll, we'll keep an eye for a, uh, a nameless Horn Scent. Perhaps we'll get his name later. That'll update the map. So we can, of course, cross the bridge, but I think I want to explore this area down here. There's some sort of settlement up there on this side of the bridge, and there is, of course, a lake. And I would like to explore that first. I'm always a, uh, don't immediately go the way we're supposed to go type of person. Savage Lion's Claw. Uh, grants the weapon the heavy affinity and the following skill. Savage Lion's Claw. Skill of the particularly brave even among the red mains. Somersault forward, strike your foes with armament. An additional strike may be performed with an additional input. Usable on swords, axes, and hammers. Small armaments and thrusting swords accepted. Right, there seems to be a tiny bit more lore on Ashes of... Or at least on that Ash of War. It's at least connecting it to the Red Mains. Interesting that the Red Mains would be here. Um, I mean, we do already have one former follower of Radon here, so... It's possible the remnants of Radon's forces went to Mikola after uh, the Shattering. You know, the ones that survived the Scarlet Rot and what uh, Melania did to them. And we have ourselves another Sight of Grace right up there, almost immediately. That's cool. I'm going to ignore these uh, shadow people. And we will activate this Sight of Grace. I think we're close to getting another level. I don't know if I want to spend that. I'm still kind of waiting for a vendor. But haven't spotted one yet. We can get another Scatter Tree Blessing. Uh, we need two, huh? No, we have two. All right. That works. And we can... Continue empowering it. Alright. That'll do. So. We're at Scattertree Blessing level 3. Maybe we should go back and uh, fight that uh, Black Jail Knight. But not yet. We're here. We're going to explore this village. This burned, abandoned, ailing village. Curled up. Oh, how it hurts. From very tip to toe. Ah, me. Help me. I must ask, am I human still? Is that the reason I yet suffer so? Hmm. 
You're surrounded by mushrooms. And there's whatever this is. You guys look like the revenants. Oh. Never mind. You no longer look like the revenants. And they're tough. They don't do much damage. D different to uh, the other enemies we've encountered yet, thus far. Fly mold. Oh, God. So, the people have turned into flies. It makes sense. A species of fungus known for its deathly sweet stench. Found by hunting man flies. Cultivated using flesh using the flesh and blood of man flies. It can serve as pot innards. Oh joy. So a fungus turns people into flies. Fantastic. So yeah, that's slightly different from the other enemies in this game, which thus far have been fairly easy to take out, but also do a whole lot of damage. These guys seem to be a bit tougher, even though they don't look like they should be tougher. And do less damage? See, he, he hit me. It barely did anything. Maybe they have a special attack that uh, does a little bit more. Perhaps we'll find out. They still stagger. Guess they're not that tough. Cool, though. Um. Here. Would you like some flies? What about you? Maybe you would like some flies. <laughs> Brutal. Hey, excuse me! Oh, wait, you're... <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I happen to use this ability against, like, the enemy that can use it back on me. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. <laughs> Joke's on me. Alright, what do we got here? Ailment talisman. Uh, this could be interesting. A talisman depicting a soul taken by sickness. When certain ailments are triggered, this talisman grants resistance to the same ailment. Oh. Oh, that's really cool, actually. When the weak were infected by the dreadful fly sickness, they perished well before the metamorphosis could take hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain they were given a proper burial were never afflicted themselves. That is a very cool idea for a talisman. That, like... It doesn't provide any base resistances, but as soon as you get hit by something, like poison your poison resistance gets increased. You get hit by rot, your rot resistance gets increased. That's a, like, a, like an immunity charm. That is a cool concept. I don't know if I'm going to use it now, because we're not dealing with too much. I mean, there, there's some bleed going on here, but... Not enough for me to be overly concerned about. Plus, I think I just cleared the area. But... Damn, that, that was cool. So, the fly sickness. Getting some, uh... Uh, Ashes of Ariandel vibes. Which is always cool. Human bone shards. And a way down with more flies. Yep, that's a tumbleweed. Okay. Hey, give me more of this fly mold. And we have ourselves another Shadow Blessing. The Revered Spirit Ash, sorry. Alright, we'll take it. And a way to go further down to no particular end though, so we're gonna go on farther this way, because there's an item off in the distance. Don't think it's a super special item, but it's something that looked like a giant spider hanging from the wall there for a sec, and I was a bit alarmed. It's just roots. You know, at least it's not hands. Not a big fan of hands. What did they ever do for us anyways? 
Okay. All right, cool little village. You know, not not too much to do there, but new enemy types, uh, some kind of disturbing lore, and uh, very cool talisman. So, yeah, I approve. Now, the lake. If you go around, what are these markings on the map? It's very strange. These like reddish golden fields. It's it's very pretty. It doesn't quite have like the 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 field physics of like Ghost of Tsushima, which guys, let me know if you if you would like to see a Ghost of Tsushima playthrough on my channel at some point. I'm not gonna do it immediately, but I, I have yet to play the game. I've watched. A bit of the early game, and then decided, yeah, I think I want to wait till I play this one, and then, you know, that way I can have a, a blind experience. And that was a long time ago. So I don't remember much of it, but yeah, let me know. Might be something I can do after uh, this. Because I do love me some history. Particularly, uh, you know, Eastern history. It's a little bit more further east than my, uh, I guess you can say field of expertise, though I'm just an amateur, so that's it's not really a, a field of expertise, but my field of interest, which is uh, predominantly focused around, like, Middle Eastern and Near Eastern history. Okay, Shadow Dog. I've had enough of you. But I'm, uh, I'm very much into, like, the steppe cultures. The, the Mongols and the Turkic. Altaic tribes and all that. It's very cool stuff. You know, of course, Japan has its uh, fascinating history as well. Okay. Um, do you look different, or is that just the light? Flash or Ah, it looks different because that one's not real. Whereas this one is. They all are. Okay. You know what? Here. I have a poisoned arrow. You don't get poisoned from one... I suppose that makes sense. Let's take them out. Alright. Three of them, two of them. And whatever that is. I think that's a shadow person. Let's uh let's hit him with another arrow. Let me see if they bleed. I probably shouldn't be wasting my arrows on them though, so. I don't think they bleed. The, the impact sound is too stony. Alright, come on. Come here. You're not gonna come here, are you? Alright, I'm gonna slaughter these deer until you show up. Or, I'm going to take this item. Grave bird armor. Okay, so we know what they are. They are called grave birds. We're gonna look at the armor as soon as this one's been dealt with. Um, Alright. Grave bird armor. Stone armor with a tinge of green. One a set one of a set of armor pieces cast in the image of the grave bird. Grave birds are ancient golems. Alright, confirmed. They are stony. Created to guard the spirit graves built where all manner of death ultimate all manners of death ultimately drift. Sorry, I can't fucking read today for some reason. Okay. Let's put that on, actually. It's it's got feathers, which very much puts it into uh, my vibe. All right, it's uh, got some exposed midriff here, which is not conducive to survival. But you know what? Let's let's roll with it. Uh, what do we got that can work nicely with that? Some sort of dark colored gauntlets. Uh, the eccentric man shafts. No. Uh, well, actually, that that doesn't look too bad. The the feather coloration is too bright though. So perhaps. Doesn't look stony enough. I can just remove that and do it this way. Yeah. I mean, that works. 
It's not very armored, but then again, when you're wearing this, let's change our appearance. I like to do that every now and then. Um, what's going to work with this? We have the godskin. I don't think the godskin pants are going to work with this, though. This is all too heavy armor. Perhaps, uh... It's kind of cool, actually. We can keep the, the tie to our uh, sanguinary noble background. Just to check the godskin? No, that, that looks... Sick. Actually, the, the coloration does match. It's it's less bad than I thought it would be, but I'm going to go with this. just looks cooler. And then we need a, uh, a different helmet, and you'll finally see the character's face. Maybe, depending on what helmet I wear. It might just be this uh, black hood with his red hair. Black hood? I mean, black hood's always pretty good. Black knife hood. It, yeah, coloration works really nice. All right, well, that's, uh, that's what we are now wearing. I thought that was a spider from behind. Weird bulbous spider, but actually it was a deer. And it's not even a spider deer, so... I would be disappointed. I thought I saw something. Okay, uh, and... Yeah, we did read the, uh, the Grave Bird, uh, armor description. So let's look around, make sure there's nothing to be done down here, aside from falling to our depths. So let's move on. Interesting that those grave birds, like, those don't look like statues. They just look like they're frozen. Like, not in ice, but petrified, I suppose, would be a better word for that. Uh, which is quite cool. What was that? Oh, just right up fruits. And we have the lake, with all kinds of traps. As in, like, traps for presumably organisms that would live in the lake, but then again, who, who the hell knows? This might be, like, torture devices, execution devices. There is a dragon. At least I think that's a dragon. Let's take a look at it from the high ground. Um, I don't know if it's dead, or alive, or undead, or unalive. I guess this is as good of a vantage point towards it as we're going to get. That looks uh, very creepy. Oh yeah, right. It's down here. It's giving me some uh, Dark Beast Parl vibes, and I press B. Alright, well, we're here now. Um... You're gonna come to life, aren't you? What a surprise. What's the damage that I'm doing? Ghost Ghost Flame Dragon! Alright. So, okay. Alright. Alright. I've got a theory. And, um... The theory is that this is basically the land between original Underworld. Prior to... Prior to, uh, the Erdtree and Erdtree Burial and all that funny business. This is where the... The dead of the land between originally went. It's giving me a Hades vibe. God damn, that was a maggot-ridden eye. Uh, that is not the button I wanted to use. This is the button I wanted to use. <laughs> and, yeah. Like, okay, what are you going to do? Are you going to ghost flame at me? You're going to do something. And I'm going to run away, because it looks uh, dangerous. All right, let's get in close again. Ooh, I am shocked I haven't taken any damage yet. Okay, there we go. Wow. Uh, speaking of damage, that's, that's a lot of it. I think I'm going to heal twice. I don't think I can uh, take more than one hit from this guy at a time. Uh, can we poison you? I mean, you're undead. I'm assuming no. Can I summon? I sure can. I can summon my perfumer, Tricia, here. I have no idea how useful she's going to be, but I may as well. Oh, boy. All right. Are you going to do that there again? Its moveset is fairly simple. There's just this that I need to worry about. I don't know what you're doing. 
Okay, that's what you're doing. Damn. You are, uh... Yeah. You hurt. Wow, Crucio's getting absolutely destroyed. But she did buff us. She can buff us. Don't step on me! You stepped on me. Yeah, this thing is such a uh, an HP sponge. We basically do no damage to it. I reckon holy damage is going to work, but we don't have a reliable way to do a lot of holy damage. So I think I might just grab my runes and run. It's not that bad of a fight. It's just... Oh, it's, it's no longer asleep or, or dead. Anyways, ghost flame, huh? So... The Ghost Flame is associated with the Death Birds. We now have the Grave Birds here. We have all these fucking Spectral Gravestones. I am... And these, like, ghost people. I'm of the opinion that this is indeed the original Underworld before Erdtree Burial disrupted the cycle of death and basically made the Grave Birds, or the, the Death Birds, in the Lands Between obsolete. That the dead were brought by the Death Birds to here. In fact, when the Death Rite Birds open up their wings, you have these ghostly dark figures... Much like these, clutching the, uh, the branched spears that shoot out the ghost flame projectiles. These guys also shoot out ranker projectiles. This is the original Land of the Dead. If you guys have already made this connection, uh, and I'm just slow, uh, I apologize, but... Yeah, this, this ghost flame dragon kind of seals the deal for me in that respect. That's cool. <laughs> That's very cool. Let's uh, keep looking around for items. Things that might help. Shadow Realm Rune. We, I think, already read the description of that. But then again, maybe not. Yeah, who fell in the Realm of Shadow. So you can die here. In the Realm of Shadow. Yeah. But I'm guessing that the people that actually, like, really die... In the Lands Between, or that really died in the Lands Between, prior to the Erd Tree coming down here and ruining everything for everyone, they likely came here. But this was their afterlife, but that it, it still has a connection to the to the living, um, which has given me a bit of like Shaiish Realm vibes from uh, Age of Sigmar, where the living and the dead. But it is like an underworld. Did you just attack me? No, probably not. Oh, hello. What did we hear? A, a dungeon. Let's, uh, let's investigate. See what there is to find. We haven't actually found a proper dungeon yet, so this, this will be our first one. Yep, indeed. Oh, it's another jail. But this one with the Sight of Grace and seemingly a little bit more to it. So, Bellarat Jail. Very, very cool. The jars. So, the pots also have something to do with death and resurrection, or I guess reincarnation. Because remember, the pots are composed of, like, the innards of fearsome warriors. At least, that's what I understood of the pots. Alright. So, they can just jump out of somewhere. These blue candles give this a very cool... Alright, I see you. Frozen maggot. Alright. Let's have a look at that. Frozen maggots that somehow continue to wriggle. Mainly found in jails. The maggots develop in great jar innards and are invaluable and are an invaluable source of sustenance to the prisoners. Lovely. So they eat the innards of the great jars, or at least they eat the maggots from the innards of the great jars. I see there are indeed great jars, like, hanging from chains here. It's, uh... Yeah, the whole... I was like, oh, how do we get down from here? Oh, well, that would be out. 
So you notice these shadowy guys, they've got little, like, tiny little horns coming out of their heads. Okay, so that we can find them on the ground. They look like these little pointy protrusions of, uh, what look like ice. Nice try. Okay, I got another one of these that we can sell. So keep this up and out. Uh, it doesn't look like a way down there, so we probably just have to cross this bridge, which hopefully doesn't collapse. It does look a little precarious. All right, I'm going to charge across this. don't particularly want to have people doing that at me while I'm on the bridge. Wow. Okay. Uh, so this goes further down. Uh, new dungeon type? Really cool thus far. You know, enemies are very simple, but I reckon that's not going to stay that way for very long. The noises are nice and creepy. Pretty kind of moaning. Not need to take that much damage from one of those guys. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Um. Hmm. 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 Got to use my head and think. Well, uh. Yeah, using our head and thinking. If we go through here, we can't come back. Wasn't there a door? I could have sworn I saw a door somewhere around here. Maybe it was further back? Maybe I went... Maybe this was the door. Or perhaps it was in the other... Oh, it was here. No. Oh, okay. I tried. No way down from here? Nope. Well. That's the way, then. Up we go. Anybody immediately below me that's going to attempt to murder me? Got that one there. Let's... Get a plunging attack. Alright. Perfect. More frozen maggots. Not sure what we'll be able to do with those, but I still haven't found many crafting cookbooks. Still waiting for a slightly more menacing enemy, though. Admittedly, these guys can hit hard. Um, they're just not very hostile, and you have to be a dunce in order to actually get caught out and beaten up by them, which I have. I have succeeded. In doing that, so. Joke's on me, I guess. Hello? Oh, I thought this was some artificial night sky falling star beast bullshit again. Uh, and got really excited, but it's just falling sediment. You know, it kind of looks like the, the marine snow. The, uh, the particles raining down. That, uh, permanently are just, like, filtering down through the depths of the ocean to settle down onto the abyssal plain. It's just dead particles of, you know, either, you know, fish shit or fish corpses, pieces of fish corpses after they've been, you know, ripped to shreds by sharks or barracudas or whatever. <laughs> it looks like that, and given the nature of this place as a land of the dead... I wouldn't be surprised if that is exactly what it's supposed to represent. The marine snow. Also, like, the coloration here, this bluish... It gives this marine vibe. I don't know, maybe I'm onto something. Right, we have ourselves a regular ghost here. Oh, please, not the jar! Anything but that! I promise I won't ever do it again! I swear, a living saint I'll surely be. <laughs> please, you must forgive me. Forgive me, please. <laughs> Still just regular guys. Oh, no, don't tell me.
I have a sneaking suspicion that that's a platforming puzzle. Jumping on the jars. And I dread it already. Nice, nice swing. Alright. We hit him that time. Oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna go through there first before we uh, do anything drastic. And I think we're gonna take this guy out. I just want no one behind me. I, I don't know. I don't trust anything. Like, thus far, the overland, just out in the open threat of the DLC has been pretty minimal, aside from, you know, the obvious big, hugely horrible things that we basically do no damage to. Bear in mind, I'm using a plus 9 sword rather than a plus 10 sword. I don't have any of the uh, the big old smithing stones. I'm kind of hoping we'll find them here in the DLC, but... So all of those were used by the base character. Hi! Well, this is new and disgusting. Like, what? what? You stagger? Yes. What are you? You are... Wretched. I was expecting it to explode. Is that what's inside the jars? Is that like a proto jar that it has yet to be interred in a jar? And it's still amassing the, the flesh from other dead warriors? If that's the case, Alexander, we need to have a talk. What did we pick up? I just completely... Yeah, alright. A big old Shadow Realm rune. The soldiers who joined the crusade were rewarded with grace aplenty. Alright. So slightly different description. Okay. I mean, at the very least, this seems to be one we can just kind of walk towards the other place. I don't know if that's going to apply here. Yeah, it will. Alright. This was surprisingly not horrible. A glass shard, alright. That's probably the indication for if you're looking down that this is supposed to be a jumping puzzle, but I figured that out beforehand. Alright, now what? Just down to there? Is that survivable? What's skulking around down there? I can't get a good look at it. Jars. Makes sense. Uh, speaking of glass shards... No, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted one of these. I just want to make sure I can actually do this before I peel off the side and die. Yeah, it's doable. You gonna inflict damage onto me? No, not even. Okay, so we got some pots. Do we have any big pots? If there are little ones, there are likely to be bigger ones. And there are a whole lot of them, and any one of them could be an enemy. Thanks, game. Thanks, Miyazaki. You're already... I fucking knew it! Already making me paranoid. And for good reason. Alright. No! Stay on him. I don't care about the little ones. Okay, they're chunky. Yeah, I have, like, a sneaking, horrified suspicion that that thing we fought in the other room was, like, a proto jar. Yet to undergo full jarification. Yeah, like that. Like, ah, no, confirmed. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. This is... So this is what Alexander really looks like. This is what all of them really look like. Huh! Innered meat. No. Scraps of flesh for filling great jars. Rancorous spirits cling to the pinkish red twitching meat. Throat enemies to inflict damage. Oh, fantastic. This is what happens of the condemned who get sliced up and stuffed into jars to become saints instead. Ah! That's even worse! <laughs> oh, God. So, the jars, they're all made of condemned. And they come from here. 
Why are they all found around herb trees? Like, broken down dead ones. Is that their final redemption? So, they come down here as condemned, presumably from the lands between. Like, they, they've done something wrong during their normal lives in the lands between. They are then brought down here as condemned by someone or another. And it, just because the, the cycle of death that the death right birds were enacting prior to the arrival of the Erd tree was broken doesn't mean that this place still or isn't still used by the lands between as some sort of place to bring the dead. Uh, after all, we found plenty of links to the lands between to the actual Erd tree itself. So, um, my speculation is that the people that are condemned in the lands between, so criminals, heretics, whatever, anyone who disagrees with the Golden Order is sent down here rather than receiving Erdtree Burial. Because Erdtree Burial allows for rebirth, like proper rebirth, proper resurrection. It's, you know, it seems like it's a decent, decent thing. That's what the people want up in the lands between. But they're sent down here. They're sent into these jails. And if they misbehave down there, they're cut up and stuffed into jars to become saints. The jars are a method of redemption. They go back up into the lands between, they fight in the wars in the lands between, or seek their own redemption on the field of battle, and then upon their deaths, they go to the Ur the base of the Erd Tree and hope that they can somehow receive their Erd Tree burial, which will then functionally allow their proper rebirth. Like, th th this is their, their penance, is to be a jar. That is what I am taking from all of this, that's my analysis here. Uh, comment below, I'm interested to hear what you guys think of this again don't uh no, no spoilers so if you know more than i do because of stuff that you've learned here uh don't don't mention it i don't want to know about that yet feel free to mention it once i've learned what you know but uh for now uh leave any knowledge that i have yet to encounter in this playthrough uh out uh, however feel free to mention anything from the base game including stuff that i may have missed in my playthrough if you remember that far back uh I don't, but I, I've learned more since then. Like, I've played through the game uh, a little bit more and watched some more stuff. So. It looks suspicious. That's a, that's a big jar. Another Knights of the Jar type of thing. Alright, what are we going to get here? This bridge looks way too suspicious and empty. We're going to get... Oh, God, what... Yeah. What? Alright, this is just a normal one. Let's take him out with this. Human bone shards, too. Alright, and we have the new types of jar enemies. Oh, it's just those. Okay. Yeah, you can come on here then. They're like they're not that bad. But just the their very premise of their existence is disturbing. And of course they, they look absolutely wretched. Okay. Um I'm clicking to see if there is any sort of, like, targetable enemies here. I'm not finding any, though. I suspect... Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Let's get that one's attention, because I reckon it's not the only enemy here. We shoot him now? Will I hit him? No. It's going to that. Oh, no. I knew that wasn't going to be as simple. Uh, okay. Where are we? We can... There's even further down. I don't know if that's, like, a place you can go, but... Man, just knowing that any one of them could have one of these enemies in them is, uh... It's a little nerve-wracking. Thanks, Miyazaki. Okay. Ugh. Okay. 
Can we target that one? Yeah. Thanks. No! I wanted to stagger him before he did that, but... That was out of the question, apparently. Yeah, none of you guys. And then... Something over there. Hostiles? Not yet. Lost Ashes of War, alright. Always useful. Then we can go around this way. Fucking labyrinth. Is that where we came through? No. We came through here. And then we could walk through the gap made with this one. Does that connect back to this way? It does. And that connects back to the other room? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. It's going to be a bit of backtracking, especially when I get confused about uh, the direction. Which, you know, can you blame me here? It's all pots. Alright. We will check that out. Just a sec. Hitting stone six. And a way down, there was a way up, and there's a way behind. Check the way behind first. It's, I think going to connect to the way up. Problem is, is uh Maybe we can. No, I think we gotta actually climb the pots to get there. Then that is what I will do. I hate you. Okay, so unfortunately with this, uh, we can't come back from this. Yeah, you can't hit me from there. And I'm not going down there. So, you can... Eat my blood bone arrows. I want to get up there. Uh, there's a couple of interesting looking items. Alright, can I grab this? No. So, unfortunately, this is the way I'm going to go first because this is a way I can come back from. And it's a big area. Okay, little little pots. What are you guys even doing? Are you hostile? No. <laughs> no, they're not cute. Nothing about these things is cute. Everything about them is horrifying. I'm not laying down next to them. Dear Lord. Uh, you are... Yeah, that's what I thought. That just... It's like a fucking truck. Okay. I avoided that somehow. Building stone three. Later. And something. Time to put these guys out of their misery. Okay. Looks to be a couple more of them here. And I hazard a guess that this is also one. Apparently I'm wrong. a proper range attack. Oops. Fucking Elden Ring Call of Duty version. Uh, oops. Ah, it's a homing range attack. I, I just don't feel comfortable crossing this gap while you're nearby. Because if I get... Yeah, I fucking get it.
Oh, no, not multiple of them. I'm out of stamina. Alright, well, at least one's down, and that one completely missed me, so I'm getting, like, really lucky here. <laughs> okay. I am shocked that I didn't take any damage. That's another, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so there's two ways we can go. The other way looks less final. I reckon I can probably find my way back from that. So we're gonna do the other way first, and then we'll come down here. At least I clear this out. So we'll head up the, uh, up here, drop into this area. And hope for the best. More inner meat. Just, just delightful. So very delightful. More of these frozen maggots growing inside them. Jar lids. Now how do I get up there? I feel like this would be a good place to climb up. There are items here that I can grab. I just... Oh, well. Okay then. It's not how I was expecting to do that, but... If you're gonna let me, I'm gonna do it. That's our way back, also. God. You see them, like, skittering around there like it's some horror game. Thankfully, we can, uh, stay out of their way, at least for the moment. This isn't where I want to be, though. I need to be on the other one. Damn! Somehow, I got up here. Like that. Perhaps I need to jump from across. Like so. That must be it. Uh, it, was a, it was a valiant attempt, so there must be another way up there. Nope. Okay, what do we got here? Greater Potentate's Cookbook. Well, we know the Potentates are associated with the jars. Let's read that. Can we get out of this? Record of crafting techniques from the greater potentate who roamed the lands near and far, haunted by the grotesque practice of his village of birth. He stuffed great pots with all manner of things. Right. The village of his birth. It, are they? Are we talking about, like, Jarburg? Is that his village of birth? And the greater potentate? They were waiting for a potentate in Jarburg. Jarbaron was means baby jar. How the hell do I get up here, though? Like, there's no easy access up there. Unless I jump from up there. But I don't know how to get up there. We can clearly get up there. And that must be our way up. It's just... There's gotta be a, a way somewhere. Alright. We're gonna keep looking around. I'm sure we'll find something. I just want to check how long is the recording. Almost an hour. We're gonna finish up this dungeon, at the very least. Or encounter the boss, realize we can't do anything and give up. That's also a possibility, but um like I, I want to beat a boss. I can't get up there though. Oh I can just jump back over. Alright, so this is not nearly as final as I thought it would be. I just don't know how to uh cross this gap. Perhaps, if there's a way up here, it does not appear to be. What is... I know if you perfectly time a jump, you can, like, land on one of these barrels without breaking them. You basically can't... Yeah, like that. Perfect. All right. Cool. <laughs> uh, now, to what end? This, this doesn't get me anywhere. <laughs> uh, I just want to go over there. Perhaps this stack of boxes is the way. We'll never know. Maybe this stack of boxes. Or this barrel. Yeah, boy! Alright, we got one chance, and it failed. In here? I mean, uh, yeah, okay, alright. 
This is very finicky. I wish the game would just give us, like, a way up. There probably is somewhere and I just haven't found it yet or have missed it, but... On the off chance there isn't... Shit. I'm going to attempt my jump shimmying until the end of time. I will get what I want. Alright, well, at least we're here. Hefty crack pot. Perfect. Um, yeah, we got ourselves another one, so we can now create the freezing ones, too, which is, uh, cool. I don't think I have the resources to... No, I totally do. Frozen maggots, we got tons of the resources. I'm gonna create two of the big ones, or another one of these, uh, these big fiery ones, though. Because I'd rather not have two of them in my inventory right now. And who knows, I think the fire pots might actually be effective here, so we shall see. Yes! Alright, more innard meat, fantastic. Oh, God. Are oh, you gonna jump down there? Alright, well, then I'm gonna ignore you until you make yourself relevant. I hate it when you do that, I just want you to know. Alright, that was, that was rude. Goodbye. I never loved you. Um, up over here. Yep, so apparently we haven't been here yet. What health was I at? I legit don't remember. And I really hope... This isn't a long run through here. I think it's gonna be. I think this is gonna bring us right back to the start of the jail. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh my! This is, uh, painful. Actually, it might not be that bad. I think we're already almost there. No. Wrong, wrong way. Here. Yes. Fuck off. Okay. I think we are almost there. There's one more, one more area. We're going to get jumped out by somebody, if I recall correctly. Is here? No? Next place? That's the ghost. Here. No. Oh, we, have, we still have this. I mean, it's not the hardest platforming, but it's still, like... The chance of dying is low, but never zero. And I have a lot of runes on the line, so I think I'm gonna equip the, uh... Another one of these. Just in case I die. Like, I think I can just walk my way here. At least it worked last time, so I'm praying it works again. Ooh, that was close. And that is a hostile jar. I don't think I want to dare fight that, so I'm just going to bail and run to the exit, because I doubt it's going to be able to follow me there. Oh, God. All right, later. Ah, uh, wait a minute. You guys are gonna be able to follow me, though. That's concerning. So now I gotta kill them. So if you're right next to it when it does that, it's basically an instant kill. Or at least it takes out a whole lot of health, because I don't think I took that much damage before. Uh, I think my old runes are still going to be there. So that, that's it. Like, I, I don't have any more of them. So if they're gone now, they're gone. Let's equip the uh, damage reduction. Yeah, that's the guy that hit me before. So uh, I, I would have been at close to this health. Which means they do a ton of damage. 
you're right next to it. Because I think you get hit by multiple projectiles. That's probably how that works. Probably why it took as much as I did. So, proceeding through here. We jump through this. This way. And over this way. Yeah, they're still here. The, the runes are still present, so that's nice. Still. A stake of Marika at some point throughout one of these long dungeons wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad. Because all this is is just annoying busy work. And we play games to have fun, and sometimes you need to get punished. And I feel like the punishment in these types of games is suitable enough. I'm missing something. That's a chest over there. Unless I'm totally dead wrong. Oh yeah, that is absolutely a chest, and I almost died. <laughs> uh, I have to get to it, though. Not from here. And not from down there. Meaning, I need to somehow drop down from up there. Well, we can uh, try that at some point. Just not right now. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but it's okay. All right, let's see here. Okay, stop that. All right, just maybe we'll at least get the damage piece then. Did you get poisoned? Don't think so. so. Let's just use our regular blood bone arrows. I don't think they bleed either. So maybe I should be using like regular arrows here. Maybe do more damage. Okay, I just want to get rid of everything so that I can uh, more easily traverse this place. Never mind. Uh, we didn't wake him up, so that's cool. And let's actually take these out. Let's take this one out right now before it gets up. Nope, run away, run away, run away. Okay, that did almost nothing this time. Very weird. Okay, and this time, no problem. Very strange. Um, yeah, let's head across this bridge. There's going to be several of those enemies, but we're going to be able to drop down because something's going to collapse. All right, he's going to come. He's going to come at me. No. All right. I was already committed to an attack, so there wasn't much I could do. But I'm glad that one didn't kill me at least. I feel like it could have. All right, there's two of them. I'd rather not fight both of them. All right, it's too late. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, here, have some. Have some bugs. Alright. Gonna do its thing? Okay, that's something else. Maybe that's what killed me. Maybe it wasn't doing the blood explosion and doing its, uh, flesh tendril grab thing. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. They're gonna... Oh, I just have to drop. I guess this won't kill me? Like, because if it does... Uh, joke's on me, because I guess those runes are gone forever. <laughs> but I'm assuming it's going to be fine. That is worrying. What the fuck? Like... 
What do I do? I can't make that jump. Perhaps the, the rainbow stones aren't coded for the falls that, like, should kill you but don't because it's a collapsing structure. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, alright. Well, we're in the right area again. So, let's... Yeah, this is... I'm just going to clear this place again because there's too many dead angles that they can come at me from. And I don't trust that they won't just kill me again. Uh, so we got everything in here. However, my runes are in this direction. So let's head in this direction and hope for the best. I think I was able to jump up here. Yes. And here we have them. All right. You, jerk. Not today. They're very vulnerable to attacks from behind. Don't think they can turn around quickly or attack me. Any sort of reverse shenanigans. Okay. Just looking to see if there's other places to go. They're very much lost in this jar labyrinth at this point. My, my runes were kind of the only thing pointing the way. Now I just... Uh, I don't know anymore. I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I barely even know who I am. It's just... Everything's jars. And, and innards. Okay. Alright, alright. And frozen maggots everywhere. Or these these jars are real creepy. Are you? I don't know. Look like it might be something. Hello. Guess that's where we need to go. What, what was I about to pick up there? Alright, just some stuff. Let me just make sure there's nothing more in this direction. Doesn't look like it. Uh, that's just the candle, right? I'm not so sure. Also, there's an enemy here that I've somehow missed. Which leads me to suspect there might be something else here. And I had it. Just then I didn't. There we go. Uh, question is, is do I bother? Jump up here. Just stay up. Yeah, so this is just the other side of the uh, the four jar central place. So I don't need to worry so much about that. So we're going to head on through here. Back out this way. Where we absolutely have some... These guys! Yeah, I remember. I'm going to take them out. Cause me problems later, and I don't feel like dealing with them right now. Alright, so you're coming at me immediately. Alright. You do it. Okay, we got him. Alright, another living jar shard. And. See ya. Yeah, this place we unfortunately already cleared, but all of that is now invalid because I died! So, I guess we're going to have to clear it again. Would you like some flies? I hope this is in range. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.
it's a uh, it's a pretty cool spell. Like I love the uh, the version of this spell in Dark Souls Three, the the swarm spell. Like really awesome. It's actually. Oh hi, right. you are close by. You almost got me again. That would have been sad. Just double heal, just to be sure. Have some Reduvia. All right. Ugh. That's that for them. You're probably another one. <laughs> what a shocker. All right, we... Bumped him. I hate fighting these things. <laughs> Very high risk. Grab the frozen maggots here. So we have a jar that we can jump down through there, which leads to a ledge. So that's the direction we can go. We have a jar we can jump to right here, which also leads to something. So two potential directions. I'm going to go this way first. I have a bad feeling about this and really don't want to die again. Uh, oh, oh. 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 Shortcut back? Perhaps? Are you going to do something? I don't think so. What are you going to do? And where am I now? I don't like this. I don't like this much at all. That's going to collapse. Where am I? I am... Never mind. I thought I knew where I was. I do not. But there's an item here. Oh, we're in front of... We're in front of the Great Jar. And we got ourselves a Great Jar. Not sure what that's going to be, but... Let's wait until this guy's done with his tantrum. Actually, I think I'm just going to kill you with my bow. Because... Dying right now just doesn't... Okay. Joke's on me. I am not safe up here. <laughs> Stay up here. Don't want to go anywhere near the edge. And we should have him. Alright. So, great jar. A great jar which fits comfortably over the head when upturned. A tire of the shamans who performed their worship at jails. Increases the power of throne pots of all sizes. Okay. They offer their prayers to the innards of the Great Jars, such that they might be reborn one day into sainthood. This is the cycle of death and rebirth taken into the hands of mortal men. This partially invalidates what I was saying. Perhaps the reasoning, my, my reasoning for why it was happening is a little bit off. But at the same time, you have prisoners that are very much being used for innards. Perhaps they're just being used for the innards, and it's actually the, like, others that are being interred inside the Great Jars, because it seems like there's a lot of flesh being interred, and then there's the actual person that goes in there. I don't know. Is there another way around? There are many different, like, pathways to get through this dungeon. It would seem. Okay. We can go there. Uh, yeah. But th this feels like it's the place of origin for the jars. Which is horrifying. We can make that. So, does this one now come up? And can I make this. Yes. Oh, and then it's got to go back down, right? And then I can... Yeah. Oh, this is horrible, though. Like, if I fuck this up... Right, we're good. <laughs> Here we are. A little bit nerve-wracking. 
Not gonna lie. I'm so afraid of over jumping. There's nothing up here, right? All right, I'm just gonna drop down and not drop too far. Okay. Hmm. And we have ourselves a fog wall. Please, ah. Uh, thank you. I know we're not the best of friends, but right now you are my lord and savior. Quite possibly literally. Why? I don't know. I felt like it. Uh. Yeah, what do we got here? Jar boss? First, chat in on some of these, and then we'll see about what we can do. I'm going to get my perfumer here ready. This is hilarious. <laughs> of course. This is, this is some, like, sly from uh, Hollow Knight vibes. <laughs> this guy's gonna wreck everyone. <sighs> Demi-human swordmaster. <laughs> okay, alright, so we have a boss that's, like, manageable. His health isn't ridiculous, so that, that's good to know. I was gonna be kind of annoyed if I had to run at another boss, and I'm sure plenty of you would have been as well. <laughs> oh, this is fucking cool. <laughs> no, leave her alone. It's rather staggerable. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, alright. Demi Human Swordmaster Yosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Yeah, used to summon Yosh, Demi Human Swordmaster. Onze, a master swordsman who devoted himself to the star lined sword, realized that only ruin awaited at the end of the procession of stars, and imprisoned himself in order to forestall it. However, Yosh, an apprentice who absorbed his technique, stubbornly refused to heed his master's words and spent. And spent entire his life at a, and spent his entire life at his side in defiance of his self-imposed seclusion. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that was that was pretty cool. Not gonna lie, cool little fight. Um, I'm glad it was. I mean, that boss was very easy, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't as rough as the other big enemies that we found. Uh, what I will do is search for that item. I'll search for a way to get to... Let's see if there's more. There's more to this place. There's more to this place, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. Because there is just definitely, like... Yeah. There's definitely more. There's at least two items that we haven't found. Uh, one of which was a purple item, so likely something with some lore description. If it's a fucking rune arc, I'm going to be, be upset. But, uh, we shall see. For now, that will be today's episode. If you have enjoyed this episode, do drop this video a like, as usual, and feel free to let me know any of your thoughts in the comments. Again, no spoilers. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Ash Heritor. Time this better. Out. <laughs>